reasons. Welcome back to another episode of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. This is number 38. And before we get started, you guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can see every time we drop an episode. Uh huh. We're here, 9029 Liberty Road, yep. Ramstown, Maryland. The owner of TNT Auto Detailing, yes. the sponsor of Reasons to Society, the podcast is yep. in the building with us today, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to the sponsor, yeah, sponsor. So <laughs> I am the real Red Nose. And I am Tierra, but you guys know you can call me T. And this is Reasons. Uh-huh. Reasons. Uh-huh. Reasons to Society. Reasons. Uh-huh. Reasons. Daylight savings. I know, right? Gosh, we yeah. lost the hour. We lost you the hour. You was all messed up the yeah, other day. Was, you feel me? I waking was. up uh, early time while you ready to go to the store. <laughs> I'm like, no, I ain't going nowhere. You still operating off of oven time. Whatever. You feel what I'm saying? You know uh, our devices, they automatically update to I daylight know. savings right. time. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it had me really thinking about time all together. Like, is it accurate? I you know, it does make you think, wonder accurate. about that, right? Like, it is time. Yeah. Is it really 2021? <laughs> That's true. Did you see the video? The lady talking to Siri? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What you think about that? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that. I mean, you never know, right? Yeah, I, I ain't going to put it past Siri <laughs> for knowing the truth, but <laughs> who knows enough, if Does like time it even exist, <laughs> man? We're going to get into all that, you know what I'm saying? A little later along with some girl talk with right. T. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? We got you. some... Pick your poison. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned for the special shout outs. We got the yep. top three, but first, let's get into asking for a friend. All right. So, I actually got this <clears throat> from a, a close friend of mine. And he was actually wondering. Um, so, basically, he has a girlfriend that is really interested in getting work done to her body okay like you know she wants just regular stuff <laughs> mm-hmm. what's regular stuff ain't no regular about work man, <laughs> i know about. right okay let me <laughs> let me get into detail yeah. all right so she wants like her stomach flattened you know okay. like a tummy tuck she wants breast enhancements butt enhancements okay and he's not really a fan of i'm not gonna say a fan of that but like he doesn't want her to do any of that like he prefers her how she is uh-huh. but she that's what she wants does it matter to him what kind of surgery she get like the the fat transfer like maybe she get something transferred i don't think that i just think he doesn't want her to do it at all okay you know and i guess his question was like how does he convince her to not do it at all <laughs> i mean it's a conversation do you think you know? that once again, it's a conversation to be had. Like, mm-hmm. how, like, what is it? Like, if she get work done, he's, it's over? I don't think it's going to be over, but I think he's just going to be disappointed because he really appreciates her for who she is and so how she looks. So whose point of view so is like, this? This is his point of view or her opinion? Who's asking this question? He wants to know. So okay. he's asking a question. What can he say to convince her to not get this anymore? Oh, man. What can he do or say I don't, to it, make her feel like she don't need this anymore and how she is in the he didn't do or say enough up to this <laughs> right, point to, get, to not convince her. To yeah, I'm not going to lie. I did ask. I was like, well, have you mentioned anything? Have you been saying negative things mm-hmm. about her? Have you been, you know, which is a bunch of things. Yeah. And he was like, no, no, I haven't. But um, this is just something that she wants. And um, what my advice to her would be um, is love yourself. Would it find out what the true the true the true issue is like why do you really want these these enhancements is it because you feel insecure and if you are feeling insecure who is it that you're really comparing yourself to mm-hmm. and why that's the real thing Word. even when you find out all them answers you still gotta wake up to it every single day reality instagram everywhere you go you feel what i'm saying yeah so. and i think sometimes maybe people should really take the reality of maybe you should get off some of this social media stuff and like Take yourself out of that whole fake reality because yeah. that's really what it is. Some people got different goals and inspirations than other people, though. Like this whole thing opened up other doors for you know people that otherwise would have to get 
quote unquote regular job. You feel what I'm saying? You get a little body enhancement here or there. I got you, but for her, I don't up. think it's even about that. Like the whole opportunity thing working up. I think it's just about feeling whole. Word up. That's why I so, I don't think he can really say much to her if she's not. He needs to step his game up then, don't he? He need to make her feel a little bit more special. Yeah. Yeah, because maybe it is that like subconsciously you're you're watching these videos, you're liking certain videos, or you're making certain comments about somebody that looks good. So maybe it is making yeah, her feel that's on homie, a certain man. way too. I'm putting I think it works. On both, I think it works both ways. So yeah, I'm gonna say do all you can to make her feel amazing. But on her part, it shouldn't take a guy to do that. Like, you have to find that within. And that was my part towards her. Like, you got to find that within. No man is going to validate you. You have to validate yourself. So you have to find out where the real issue is and why you feel this way and heal that. Yeah, you know, man. take time for yourself. Figure that it sound out. good, man. But then as soon as y'all depart ways, she back in her zone, her, you know, her environment, and that's all she sees. So it's like I'm back in my insecurity. I found out what it is. I and know, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and then, but you got to think, too. Like, so my thing is, are you... Are you are you gonna be fulfilled once you get the surgery? Because most people it's like tattoos, you get one, you want another. Yeah. You know, but like, hopefully so, so. Hopefully so. Yeah, but mo- but I'm gonna say yeah. nine out of ten people want to go back for more and more and more and more, and then they start looking like certain people <laughs> know. that you know you, you can't come back from that to, to try to reverse what you messed up when you should just appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, and let's bro. not get deep into the diseases, not diseases, but the um, infections and, oh, yeah. um, you know, just think. Well, yeah, I guess diseases because you can develop mm-hmm. lupus and things like that. Word like it breaks up. your body down. Most so, yeah, definitely. that's a whole <laughs> nother conversation. Word up. Mm, I know you got some friends. What's yeah, up with yeah, them yeah, today? You know I got some friends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you need to follow me close. Follow me close on this one. Right. So <laughs> mm-hmm. I have a friend that has a friend. You know, that's dating a young lady. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're together, but they're not together. You know, something going on. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And uh, every time she comes around, she's a little flirtatious towards my friend. Mm-hmm. You follow me? Mm-hmm. My friend's friend has mm-hmm. a young lady, and every time my friend comes right. around, that young lady is flirtatious. Sneakily flirtatious. Right, right, like right, she right. Does, you, she, you know what I mean? She yeah, does yeah. certain things. And uh, my friend, he told his friend, what the situation was and he pretty much brushed it off like and my friend's confused like he don't know if he brushed it off like he knows she's a dummy or he just don't believe him you know what i mean so he wants to know like should he smash her or should he just avoid her i mean straight like that oh <laughs> wait so your friend's friend wants mm-hmm. to know should he continue to smash his girlfriend. No, my friend wants to know should he smash his. Oh, the one that keeps like okay. Yeah. Uh, no, your friend should avoid the girl. <laughs> like, are you? Is this really your friend? Like, I mean, yeah. See, he told me a character. side note. Nah, like, he, he was not, basically nah. saying like he, his friend like has several women. You feel what I'm saying? And this is just one of the several. Yeah, several one, one of them. You feel me? Yeah, but they're all his though, right? Yeah. All okay, his. so he shouldn't be trying to have anything that ain't. Yeah, his and, and my friend. friend ain't used to getting attention. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, dang, like he feels like the other friend would be hating at this point because like you got several women. You know what I'm saying? This one is. <laughs> And she just one of the several. You know, you like, can't let me get from that much. You know yeah. what I mean? So he just want to know. Like he already told him before. He brushed it off. So it's like, what should he do? Should he smash or should he just avoid her? Um, probably I, a one in a one in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, he probably never never get his opportunity again. This type of female. Yeah. Oh well, I say he just <laughs> avoids her. Word up. Yeah, because like that shows character. So if your man, if your friend had money, a million dollars just laying on the bed, mm. and he, you know he always got money, but it's like, well, you got so much money, <laughs> I just took Word two thousand. That ain't nothing. Watching. It's like, no, why you pocket watching my woman? Word up. Yeah, like okay, chill. No, so, let me offer it for so you. Just like my money, let me offer. Be Yes, because I didn't give you permission. Just like my money, if, just because I got ten million dollars on me, you could send still yeah. two thousand. Okay. That's probably like twenty dollars to me at that point. So you can tag but any like, female, nah. be like, "That's mine. That's touch. mine. I don't touch none of them." You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because I because I, I brought them all here. Word I brought up. them all here, and you would have never <laughs> seen them if I didn't bring them all here. Just Word like this up. money. So yeah. it's like you can't just go stealing. Now, if you ask me, mm-hmm. I might be nice. Yeah. Now, if you would have came to me, it would have been like, "All right, she keeps making passes. Can I smash? <laughs> Is it cool if I smash?" Yeah. That's then that's cool. But you decided to say. Hey, she keep making passes at me, just left it at that. He was like, whatever. 
Right. But that's say that's not like saying whatever you could do. To, that's like somebody you text somebody be like, yeah, I'm on my way, and exactly. they never be like, okay, you right. still going? No, yeah. that was wrong yeah. on you if you did it. <laughs> I hope you didn't do it. Word or not, he want to know because they, yeah, don't. you know. No. Nah, because he ain't even that friend ain't gonna trust Currently you with nothing in else. A situation, you feel what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. feel like it's one in the opportunity. Uh, it chance, really, it you feel is, what I'm saying? but you don't know. Maybe you'll get the opportunity again. Maybe he would have <laughs> next week let you smash two of them. Yeah, now man. you messed it up. Most definitely. Uh, the days get deep. Topic <laughs> is about time. You know what I'm saying? So as we all know, it only goes forward. It does not go backwards. I know. That's you know crazy. What I'm saying? Right? Once it happened. It happened. It happened, like, and you can't take it. Yeah, you feel you what I'm saying? It. So what is your top three things that you remember from the past that's not ever coming back? Not now, not in the future, <laughs> not ever. For, for reasons. I'm going to have to say, like, Walkman, obviously, because now we have iPods <laughs> and stuff. That's never coming back. Yeah. We're just advancing with it. I mean, I guess it's still kind of here in a sense, though. With the little headphones. Yeah, little, exactly. With the little conjures that um, should always fall off. You know right, what I'm yeah. Little rewind button. Right. And I guess that goes with like CDs too. Cause oh, that, yeah, that was with the, the CDs. CDs. And don't get no scratches in them CDs. That's the end of that. Right. Um, house phones. Oh, yeah. That actually, phones. like, you know what I'm saying? With like, the cord. <laughs> right. We're not, those aren't coming back. Those yeah, aren't your not coming back. <laughs> call you to reach it all the way around in the mm-hmm. living room. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Yeah. I would say like uh, pagers. We're not about to have pagers no more. Oh, yeah, pagers yeah. is gone. Yeah. It's out of here. That I ain't coming back. I think we was a little right before the. No, we was right after the pagers. We was right. after the we pagers, did. but we did like the um. What was it? The next tail? <laughs> the blue blue. Oh Walk yeah. That was like Walk our era. Yeah, of the, that was definitely the jump off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? Um, I guess like old gaming systems and controllers. Like everything's wireless. Like we're not about to go back to cords. We're not doing that. We off the cords. Like, we trying (laughs) to think of anything that doesn't result to that. And I don't know, but I think... Playing outside is not going to come back. Damn. I guess you might have to force your kid, but I don't. I can't see that coming back I unless so. the games, the electronic robotic games, are outside only, Them, like uh, Pokemon Go and stuff joints. like that. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. Or that's the thing, like playing outside, just like you said, virtual reality games. Mm-hmm. I'll play outside. I can create any outside I want in my house, and I don't even got to leave. And I can eat my snacks, and I can do this. Like your kids ain't playing outside no more, y'all. Up. That's over unless you force them. Yeah, man. What about <laughs> phone books? <laughs> yeah, man. Did they That's really contain people's phone those. numbers? Like, you could really look it up and find yeah, somebody. Yeah, like businesses. Know. Yeah. I think you had to, like, request to have yours listed or something. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Correct yeah, me if I'm wrong, y'all. You know, they ain't coming back. Like, yeah, that's not What about, back. like, your own personal? <laughs> like, you had to. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess they still What? They still stuff. make those? <laughs> <laughs> Phone books on deck, baby. Oh, TNT, I don't see that little in the phone book. My bad, so phone book. Yeah, man. They didn't go nowhere, obviously. <laughs> what, did, uh, what did people used to store their phone numbers back in the day? The little phone books. They had the little, um, mm. what was it? The, I um, kind of remember them joints. I remember my mom, dad, okay. everybody had one. Phone my grandma. Books, they will never come back. You yeah, know those what ain't saying? coming back. Uh, what about phone booths? <laughs> Yeah, they gone. Nah, they out of your um, yeah. Can't find none of them nowhere. If you do see them, they ain't working. Yeah. What about the TV guy? <laughs> what about the TV guy, man? You had, like, if you wanted to know what was coming on TV, like next week and stuff like that, like get yes, ready for certain stuff. That's so of true. Of course, you knew your regular shows with time they came right, on. Right, but, but if, if you, you wanted, wanted to, to know, know, yeah, yeah, some more extensive stuff. Yeah, <laughs> more. You had more you had to go get that, that TV guy, man. That was Dang, a click away. You feel me? On remote control. That was like on. You got That's cabs. Crazy. They got taken over by Uber and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know what They're saying? gone. You got uh, Blockbuster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Netflix changed the game. Friday night used to be lit. Go to Blockbuster. You feel me? Get the video. Oh, Red box. Right, yeah, the Damn, red box. Red box yeah. came and went so fast. God you like me. you yeah, none of this stuff. Everything's coming to like just being in your house. Yeah. Not leaving. No. That's crazy. Groceries, you can get your groceries now. Yeah. You ain't gotta leave the house no more. What about the manual door uh handle? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta do that joint manually, roll it up, roll it down. Like, yo, you left your, For window, your window, down. yeah. You gotta reach in the back seat, you know, got <laughs> <laughs> Word. Making feel, them with that? Making them or making them. like I, I saw I saw one Ford where it had power to the front before. <laughs> it had what in the front? Uh, it had roll they had the power up front, but they had to roll down like that. Word <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah. That is crazy. I think it's still necessary, Why? though. Just in case a little automatic thing don't work no more, you still got the man. Yeah, I guess. 
That yeah, is true. That most is true. Definitely, man. With that said, we're going to go ahead and get into the sponsors. sponsors. What's up? What's up, everybody? TNT Auto Detail is here with you today, and we are on Reasons to Society, y'all. Listen, if you have not liked, thumbs up, subscribed, or even comment, do it today. Reasons to Society is the reasons. We're located at 9029 Liberty Road, TNT Auto Details, where it is. We are still celebrating our 11 year anniversary and everything. So as you can tell, I'm very busy and I'm in my mobile van right now getting it in. But I uh, just wanna come to y'all and just let y'all know that we are painting calibers. We are painting hubcaps. Yes, hubcaps. <laughs> I did a hubcap job today, it was crazy. Painting rims. Um, we are doing sealant services and we're just running all types of specials. Uh, next month, we also have a wash and wax 15% uh, off discount that's going to start at the beginning of April. So stay tuned. Back to reasons. Get deep. Does Tom really exist? <clears throat> You know, that is really, really deep. <laughs> like, when when we decided what we were going to talk about and he said this was it, if my mind was like, Whoa. um, I'm going to say yes or no. What, what, what do you think? Does time really exist? Uh, yeah, time exists. What do you mean, yes or no? You I mean, I guess. This question? I mean, okay, yes, it does. Wow. I guess I'll elaborate more. Yeah, elaborate now. <laughs> like, what? So, I mean, of course, time exists, but I kind of feel like. It was man-made, so that's what I mean when, like, when I say no. It's like the whole clock system and all of that. It's kind of like, eh, somebody created that. But like time itself, yes. That's why I say yes and no. But I mean, I guess I'll just go with yes. <laughs> if y'all feel like I'm being uh, difficult today, yes, I time guess. exists, guys. Yeah. I just wanted to know because I think so because uh, you know you have nighttime, you got daytime, right, yeah. you got winter time, you got seasons, you got times when animals hibernate. So of course, time absolutely exists. I feel like right. You know what I mean? I just want to know how accurate it is. I'm just challenging the accuracy of the right, time. Right, right, thing. right. You know what I mean? Like, do we really know how old we are? I'm going to say no. Like, the calendar switched so many times over the course of history. You know what I mean? Like, right now, we're going with the Gregorian calendar. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? 365 days, 12 months. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, the whole rundown or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, you know, man, you think that it's only 10 numbers that exist, period. Yeah, Zero and then when nine. you think about it, it, <laughs> it makes sense, right? Because it's like the number system, it does, it, like, 10 disappears for real. Like, it's 1 through 9, and mm -hmm. then 10 is the number, but, like... It's a one and a Word zero, up. and it gets deep, you know, but, mm -hmm. yeah. So, imagine, like, for real, like, if it was only 10 months instead of 12. I know. Like, nobody would be the age that they, you know, they would that not they think that they are. Be you had to add, like, are. five, six, seven, you know, years on your life. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what is funny? What, speaking of you saying, even saying that, like, one, we don't count the time in the womb. It's like once oh, a baby yeah, comes, true. like, so it's like, do you not exist at that moment? Like, are we not going to count that time? Yeah, that's very true. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's how Word they justify up. it for newborns. <laughs> yeah, man. And you got to start from zero. You can't start with one. You got to start from zero to get to a year. Like, you have to have the whole 365 days to the year, you know? That's kind of true, though. It's like, how do you not miss the nine months the baby's in the womb? If yeah. If I don't even want for nine months, why Word not? Word up. Ten months. And it, and that's uh, what it goes back to the numbers. Like so, maybe women are pregnant for a whole year, and we've been conditioned to think that they're pregnant. So that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's the yeah, natural yeah. cycle. You feel yep. what I'm saying? And then you can't forget about the leap year. You did. I know. What like what? What? What's that real age? The people, the leap year people, right? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Shout out to Shanika and Diamani. <laughs> but how else am I gonna celebrate 28? That ain't my birthday. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> and March 1st ain't my birthday. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, and and, and, and that's going off of society, right? Birthday only for every yeah, four that's years. That's Shanika, her daughter, Diamani. Her birthday, um, mm. she just had a birthday. Shout <laughs> out, shout out. Right. <laughs> Leap year. You know what I'm saying? And uh, daylight savings, you know, it was originally for farmers, you know. Well, that was created for the war. So they wanted it to be darker early so that they can actually fight longer. Okay. So what happened was it's a, it was a government change. Mm -hmm. It can't be government change. Word up. It doesn't exist yeah, it definitely. No, does so not. so, so that just goes not. deeper to it really doesn't exist. That whole daylight saving is not a yeah, real it's thing. Definitely man made. It was yeah. right. It was, it was never supposed to be designed. 
Yeah, just like time. Just like time. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. States like Arizona and Hawaii. Why, right. They don't got you know the whole daylight savings. Places like that. Matter of fact, we actually met a girl when we was on our business trip a couple of years ago, where everybody was at that mansion, mm-hmm. and she was from um, Arizona, and she talked about daylight saving when she actually came in to visit, mm-hmm. and the time changed. It blew her mind. She was like, "What the heck? The clock just..." And, you know, it freaked her mm-hmm. out. But it was like daylight saving here. She was like, "That is weird," because she grew up there. So it was like, mm-hmm. so it makes you further think, like, "What's up with this for real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, is it necessary? Hey, is it really necessary?" Right. <laughs> Yeah, man. And the change in time definitely spikes uh, the lack of productivity, heart attacks, mm-hmm. suicide, and sleep deprivation. You know what I mean? So I think that time is more powerful than we all think. It definitely is. You know what is. I mean? I think that, man. If it's shorter, that causes all that, or if it's longer. Oh, uh, just the time change period, whether it goes frontwards or backwards. What is it, eight months and four more, months? I think more people get more depressed when mm-hmm. they go back. I know their time, yeah, and and, and make mm-hmm, life. <laughs> that is true. Uh-huh. And it's dark, yeah. So they feel like they don't, yes, yeah, so they feel like they don't have a life exactly. Right, yeah. So that time. <laughs> so I think we both agree, or we all agree that time does exist, but we're not sure how accurate it really. Right, is. how accurate it is? Yeah, right. that's that's a question mark right there. Yep. Reasons. So, my special shout out today actually goes to an author friend of mine. Her name is Melinda. Um, She's having a poetry webinar uh, with other writers. And it's actually called Erotic Dreams Live Poetry Webinar Number Two, because I guess this must be their second one, clearly. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, That's going to be Saturday, March 27th. And you can actually follow her on Instagram and check out her books and all her info there. You can find that event on Eventbrite, and I'll leave that uh, information below. Okay. You got any special shout-outs today? Yeah, man. Today my special shout-out goes to Remy Ruga. He's dropping that up freestyle okay. this Friday. You know what I'm saying? It's highly you. anticipated. Mm-hmm. A lot of energy behind it. Powered. Mm-hmm. Shout-out to Jay Lee and them boys. Uh, y'all doing it big over there. Right. Shout-out to y'all. Uh, make sure y'all follow Remy Ruga. Ruga on IG and stream all this music on all major uh, platforms. And thank you for your appearance on Reasons to Society, episode 29. Make sure y'all right. check that out if y'all have not already. Yeah. R- r- reasons. reasons. Alright, so we about to get into my favorite segment, which is Pick Your Poison. P- poison. P- poison. <laughs> Alright, so my Pick Your Poison <laughs> Is would you rather detect every lie you hear or get away with every lie you tell? <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna answer first. I'm gonna go with detect because I don't plan to lie that much, so I might as well don't people are lying to me. Right I like that better. That sounds a little bit, you know. I'm definitely yeah. going with uh <laughs> I wanna get away with every lie I tell. Ain't no like which, no limits what, to what that. You are do you get immoral. From detecting? What, you are so immoral. What benefits do you get from detecting a lie? Like you still can't do nothing about it. I think I just made it word up. I understand that, but like, what 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 benefit are you getting from it? Like from what? Not, from catching a person in a lie? Yeah. What's it? No, uh, but, but it's a, you're detecting it. It's not like you're proof detecting nowhere. It. Like I'm lying. You detect I'm lying. What do you mean? Like so? Proof? I'm like, hey. Dude, does my hair look dumb today? Me, no, I have a detector, so I'm right. like, no, this is look dumb. Does my hair look dumb today? And you're like, no, it looks amazing. And I'm like, and in your hair, you're like, no, that shit looks stupid. Okay. Now I know. Word. You lied. You're detecting it, but hey. But hey, what? What's yeah. your proof? We, you going about your day? I going about my day? What you gonna say? Hey, you, you're lying. You're lying. I detected that yeah, you're lying. Yeah, I you am know? gonna tell you that, I'm and I'm gonna say it's the, it was the twinkle in your eye that gave it up. That's when you start being labeled crazy. No, that's when you start thinking, can she read my mind? And then that's when we got that conversation. Yeah, right. Man. I'm, I'm gonna start scaring him. How many people out here? Is, how many people out here right. is really gonna stay right. with a female <laughs> that you know is a psychic? Like when you first meet her, like she you're not gonna know when I when you first meet I'm me. I'm just saying. Yeah. That. Okay. So. Matter of fact, that's how you're going to save yourself in a lot of relationships and dealing with a lot of people this messed up on the, the inside. That's the reason I want to get away with every single lie that I tell, just for that reason right there. How my hair look? It looks good. I'm out going with the rest of my day. I don't got to deal with nothing. Hey, you're lying. You know, like, <laughs> it, 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 a lot of unconsciousness of lies we do on the record. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it'd be like, if I have a big truck coming in and I really don't want to clean the big truck, 
Mm-hmm. Word up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that's so petty. And that's an honest man right there we talking about. You feel what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so what do you mean? So that doesn't wanna... mean we're going to accuse him of his lie. He's lying. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is, but I'm going to get away with it. So you'd rather it. be a liar or detect liars? So you'd rather be, be a liar. I'd rather like, detect liars. I can tell you the most simple thing, and you're going to believe it. You know how fun that would be? You know what I mean? No, that's very deceitful. It, it is. It sounds right. But it sounds you asked me a poison, and I'm picking that over just being able to detect. You I feel got what I'm saying? You. I got now you. I got an attitude with you because I, I know what you just thought about me. You feel what I'm saying? Or whatever. <laughs> and I can't even really approach you about it because you're going to label me crazy. I know that's, I know what you really think. Right, until you get that perfect person that doesn't think crazy stuff about you in their head. How about that, guys? Hey. Pick your poison. <laughs> y'all go ahead and drop that below, which y'all picking. Poison. <laughs> All right, we're about to get into the last segment, which is GTT time, and that's Girl Talk with this girl. Uh-huh. I want to talk about gender roles in society. I think... Parents, everybody, society, period, I guess. We just have this whole stigma with girls. They're taught to be mothers and nurturing. They have to play with pink stuff and Barbies and cute little shiny things. They can't get dirty. They have to stay cute and clean. And then you got the boys and you can't cry. You got to be rough. You got to do this. You got to mm-hmm. do that. Do you agree that, like, children are taught, like, gender roles? And yeah. it's hard. You can't even flip-flop because then you label, like, oh, is your son or daughter gay? Or are they da-da-da-da-da? Like, people always have so much to say, but it's like society really did put the pressure on us, right? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, like, boys, why can't little boys cry? Why can't you be hurt? Why do you got to be so tough? Like, I mean, why can't you be... Everybody don't raise their kids the same way. I know, but society, think about it. Society, men crying, not happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's levels, man. I think crying is cool, but like not like unnecessarily, you know, for a boy. For a girl, your heart always And that's be, the thing. What is, you know, for, that's what we're talking about. Like, you saying unnecessarily. What is, it, what is crying unnecessarily? You know, like, you know, a lot of kids get away with what you allow them to get away with. So, if you got like a little spoiled brat baby that's always crying and you just Yeah, but that's them, different outside of, that. um, I mean, like... Yeah, you're crying like you hit yourself, you fall down. The rest of the kids keep running, but you so used to being nurtured, you fall down. You look straight at your parent and start crying. Come here, get it, come here. It's yeah, so I got you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's levels to it. Yeah, there's definitely levels to it. But I'm not talking about that. We're talking about we're talking about the rough parents. And so, do you think a more majority of men in the society think this way, not to cry, don't show emotion towards women? Like, let's be real. Majority of men in society do not have this emotional connection, being more in touch with their feminine side because everybody has that energy, of course. So mm-hmm. it's like that's really shut off because society says men have to be rough, men have to be providers. Okay, so let's take it to when you grow up. Okay, that's when you're younger. Play with dolls. Boys play with action figures. You're rough. You don't. Girls cry. Boys don't cry. Right. So then it ends up turning into masculine, like toxic masculinity and toxic femininity, basically. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right. So a woman, she starts using her body as a weapon, like because you're taught as a woman, you say, "Cute, you do this, you do this for a man." You're, you mm-hmm. know, and then the man is a provider. Like mm-hmm. y'all taught to be providers, right? You gotta go. You gotta be strong. You gotta provide. You gotta give security. So then women are sitting here like, okay, well, I have the power with my vagina so I can withhold sex from you or I can leverage my sex to make you do this and that mm-hmm. for me. But why not, though? Don't We all do that with something, right? That's just something that they were just naturally built with that's powerful, you know, that people want. <laughs> people want. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, Don't yeah. everybody flex their power? That's what it is. Yeah, everybody does flex their power. So if you the breadwinner on the opposite side, you the male, you the breadwinner, you can withhold certain things if she not. That's what I was. Things, but right? that goes to being toxic masculinity and toxic femininity. That's you know, that's toxic. You know that role can definitely be reversed. What you mean? Let's say it's a a nepho guy that really wants sex a lot, but the girl don't. And she's the breadwinner. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it can, the roles can be totally Yeah, ridiculous. but that's what I'm saying. She's still using her power as, as toxic toxicity. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, basically. Right. Like, people take gender roles, and, and it turns into toxicity. Toxic. Toxicity. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. That I got a tongue twister. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, basically, that's what it turns into later down the line. And I just think that's funny. Like, And I'm not saying that... Men should be wearing skirts and crop tops and polishing their nails. Unless that's what you want to do. And if you do, do it. Um, I don't think you should be labeled as anything other than who you are and what you want to do. You wearing yourself. what? Nail polish. You're not Snoop Dogg and all these other people. Lil Pump. 
What? Snoop uh, Dogg did what? Wore nail polish. You know, some rappers went through a stage where they wanted to wear nail polish and stuff like that. I don't remember that. You don't remember Snoop Dogg wearing nail polish? No. Lil Pump, maybe. I'm not Uzi a little, Vert. Maybe. Snoop Dogg? Yeah, Snoop Dogg, yeah. Mm-hmm. Word up. Yeah, we're going to insert the photo. But, uh, yeah, he wore nail polish. And basically my point is I'm not saying we got to go that far. I mean, if those people want to do that with their bodies and stuff, do that with your bodies. But my whole point was we society is really hard on gender roles, and we need to chill out a little bit. Like, if you were a little boy and you wanted to play with your sister and her dolls, that made you gay? Like, come on, let's be real. Why, didn't, why can't you just want to play with the dolls? But people are just so stuck on these gender roles. Like, you're a girl, you have to do A, B, C, D. Mm-hmm. You're a boy, you got to do that. Like Yeah, but then people gonna have an uproar when other things start to happen. Like, why do you have transgender kids on TV? You're pushing that agenda to kids. Why are you doing this, that, and the third? So then, like, you can't win if you do the A, B, C, D for girls. Then you can let them do this. And then they start doing that. So it's you think we should have gender issue. roles? Yes. Well, it's definitely. We, yes, like natural gender roles. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like males has always been laborers and providers. You know what I mean? Like a female can also do that, but they but that's the nurturing. thing. Like, like what, they what? actually give birth to kids. They actually nurture them. Like these are just natural things in life. I feel like. Yeah, you but that's the thing. Like, do you really feel like that's the natural thing of life, or do you feel like like society pushed that on us? Like, what, what if mean, women that? were? What if women were the ones that went out and provided everything for the family and that guys? Makes sense. But they can't while they're pregnant. I wouldn't want my my wife to be out there like straining hard labor. I mean, yeah, of course not. Of course pregnant. not. So maybe the men that's when they took their turn to actually go out. Yeah. I'm just saying this is just I have no proof of this. I'm just yeah. making speculations right now at this point. Right. But it's like, yeah, you just I don't know. But I don't know. I guess gender roles are necessary to a certain extent. I think they get tricky when you start trying to label somebody as something when they're not fitting your normal gender role, like what you were taught for that gender. Like if you see a man doing something strange, you want to label him this or that because he decided to do something that society told you only women do. <laughs> what you and mean I don't by think strange? When I say strange, I mean like um, a man that identifies himself as being heterosexual and he's wearing like skirts and dresses and painting his nails and doing things that you consider somebody who is not heterosexual doing. And then you'll look at it like, well, wait, you seem like you're gay and you're not. But that goes to my whole point with you should be able to do what you want and not be um, labeled to a gender role, basically. Right. If you don't want to be like people, should, if you don't want to be labeled as that, then you don't need to be labeled as that. So my thing is, is society forces to have the roles. Cool, that's fine. We can't do nothing about them. But when a person steps outside of that role, do not crucify them. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Mind your business and keep it moving. If they ain't hurting you, mm-hmm. reasons to society we don't judge people. We're very open minded. Okay. Ain't everything about influences too, though. You know what I mean? Like so, everybody said to influence somebody. No, I'm just saying, like. You know, yeah. People are influenced by other people, and that's how trends and things like that come along. Yeah, I understand that, and that could get deeper into like whole agendas being pushed and wanting to make people do certain things. But my thing is, if your kid is not this way, that watching them do that or, or anything is not going to uh, force them. But that goes back to gender roles. People are so scared that their child is going to be gay or going to be this or going to be <laughs> that that they try to like. Shun like uh, put them in a closed box somewhere and make sure they never see this information. But it's like, why do you think if they see the information, it's gonna make them gay? Mm-hmm. Like it's not, or you know, whatever the case may be. But yeah. All right, guys, this has been a great episode. Me and the hubs, uh-huh. two weeks in a row doing our thing, Word doing our up. thing. Y'all stay tuned for the guests we have lined up soon. We got some good people coming on. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't did it already. That way you could keep up with every time we're dropping our episodes. Go follow us on Instagram at uh-huh. Reasons to Society. And until next time. We out, baby. Bye. Bye. Reasons.